Thank you for watching the first part of Paranormal Vlog, Rhodes Hotel. That was just an introduction. Now it's time for the good stuff. You get to actually see what we found when we investigated the Rhodes Hotel that night. We're going to lead up to this first clip. Uh, we're sitting in the hall. They do have a cat that actually roams, but they also have a phantom cat, which kind of makes things interesting. But as we're sitting there playing with the cat toy and talking about them, all of a sudden you get this faint damn that's whispered. We'll play the video. Might even loop it for you. But check it out. Ken's like, I should have brought a toy up here. Ken's like, I should have brought a toy up here. This is Brian from the Paranormal Midnight Society. Uh, we set up a camera for the door to the attic because we heard that it opens and closes on its own. Uh, in this in this video clip. We hear a knock. Josh thinks it's a bark. You can judge for yourself what you think you what you think it is. So you can comment down below. Tell us what you think. The next clip is in David's room. He was a black man that were caretaked for the house. He doesn't really like men too much. He, he likes to push them out. Uh, in the room, Josh is walking around and he puts his hands up on the wall and says, knock on something if you're here. And when he turns around, you hear this knock. He thought it was a floorboard, but when he went to it and started stomping down, we couldn't get a replication of that. So tell us what you think. I'm gonna stand back here in the corner. Come on. Come out and play. Dude, who knocked? What? Did you I swear it knocked after you even turned around. I think I need a foot over here. Oh was it? In this next piece of footage, I'm actually talking about not wanting to go up into the attic because, trust me, that place was hot enough. And you'll hear uh, a, a voice actually come up and it says, come on up. Someone was inviting me to come up to the attic. I know it wasn't the priest because if you watch my last paranormal vlog from over six months ago and you heard the, when I said hello, you heard the hello. This sounds exactly like that lady. So, some female there was inviting me to come up. I don't know if it's for some shenanigans up in the attic or whatnot, but uh, yeah, wasn't going up alone. Check this out. Do you want us to go up to the attic? Is that where you're at? the steps and onto the right there is what you call the blue room some people say that the room lights up blue or there's a woman in blue in that room uh, we were doing an EVP session and what we heard was this heavy breathing kind of like a sound Josh was talking in another room. Uh, he got up, started walking. We heard this uh, two knocks kind of sound and a squeak. Can I come in your room? Can 
sound like a skate. Sound like a squeak. All right, on this next piece of footage, don't pay attention because it's going to happen very fast. I want you to listen. So crank up your audio. Uh, I'm actually walking in to uh, Michelle's room. Michelle's actually the owner of the Rhodes Hotel right now. Uh, but walking out of Sarah and Michael's spot into where Michelle sleeps. Now in this room, you're going to hear this. It almost sounds like a zombie, but we're ghost hunting, not zombie hunting. So check out this next clip. around we started taking some pictures and the best picture we caught was this one here and up in the right corner there's just something out of the ordinary there I looked at other pictures nothing was there uh, maybe zoom in on your uh, computers if you can and try to help us figure out what you think it might be Well, hey, thank you for watching another paranormal vlog. Yes, it was a two-parter, and thank you for watching both. Um, I appreciate the thumbs up. All you have to do is click the little thumbs up button down there. Uh, any comments, feedback, please leave it. Uh, I promise next time, hopefully it won't be as long, but we want to start showing you guys more of uh, the places we investigate. That way, if you're interested, you can actually go there and investigate. In fact, if you ever want to go to the Rhodes Hotel, we'll do it right here is their email. Uh, just log on, send them an email, you know, go there. It's a great place to visit, lots, lots of history. Um, you know, check it out. But thank you for watching. Continue to watch Paranormal Vlog and continue to see what Brian and I do with the Midnight... <laughs> Shit, I messed that up. Continue to watch... Ugh. Continue to uh, see... Uh, fuck no, we're not getting that way. You know, we're not ending that way. I told you this was unscripted, so uh, right here in this box... Like us on Facebook, like our fan page. You know, we're just starting out, Brian and I. So uh, like our page, continue to watch and see what we do next and see where we go next. Okay, go. Hey, thank you for watching the first part of the Paranormal Vlog Roads Hotel. Uh, that was just an introduction of, you know, what we went through that night and showing you the house and whatnot. I'm gonna do that over. Here. All right, this is Brian from Paranormal Midnight Society. In the next uh, few, oh, shit. <laughs> And we're recording. Okay. The next clip is in David's room. He was a black man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what does that sound wrong? What can I say? After no, no, American. you can no, you can say he's a black man. I just you paused right after he's a black man joke. Dun dun dun. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Wait, that's just the EVP we hear that says come on over here. Yeah. Yeah. On this next audio clip, <clears throat> give it a few seconds. On this next audio clip, I don't want you to, fuck, what am I doing? I'm doing the come on up, or did I already do that? No, I'm doing the Michelle's room. This next part, you're gonna hear an EVP. Uh, is that a video? Come on, was a video. Was it a video? Yeah. Okay. In this next video, you're actually gonna see. Uh, I was talking about. Fuck. I don't know. Uh,